In consumer news, an El Paso shop says inflation is having an impact on their business, but they chose not to raise prices ahead of the holiday. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us now with why he's waiting for the new year. Well, Natasia, the owner of Lincoln's Mini Mall at the outlet shops at El Paso says inflation has made the cost for him to get product higher. But he says he won't raise prices until after the holidays, even though it means he'll lose profit. So I've tried to hold my prices at the same pricing that I had. Unfortunately, obviously, when I sell through this stuff, replenishing that is going to make, uh, it's going to be a, a, a different story. I'm going to be forced to probably increase prices. David Lincoln, the owner of Lincoln's Mini Mall, says he did order a lot of product before prices got higher, but the items he had to replenish before Christmas cost more. Uh, some of the items I did have to pay more in shipping because the pricing was going up, but I still maintained my same pricing. So that means that my profit margin is reduced. UTEP economic professor Tom Fullerton says he expects that other stores in the area are experiencing the same issue if they didn't raise their prices before the holiday. To the extent that uh, raising prices was not feasible or was uh, strategically decided not to raise prices, that'll reduce margin from the cost of goods and let's uh, see the prices at which they are sold and, and you know that, that will affect cash flows and it'll reflect, uh, let's see, profitability margins. While prices have gone up, Fullerton says the demand has not gone down. The recession was fairly short. It was very disruptive, but it was fairly short, and incomes have remained largely intact. And so demand has not suffered. So the combination of product shortages and strong demand is also causing, let's see, inflation to be more problematic than it might otherwise have, have otherwise been. Now, the owner of Lincoln's Mini Mall tells me he anticipates needing to raise his prices by at least 15% after the new year. Natasia, back to you. All right, Shelby, thank you. The pandemic has